everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is time for a Lakers update. So much has happened since the last time I talked to you. Let's get started. Unfortunately, there is a bit of more bad news for the Lakers. Since the last time I talked to you, Lonzo Ball has been injured. He is still going to be out there saying for another four to six weeks recovering, which has been terrible for the Lakers. We've had so many injuries and illnesses this year that have plagued the Lakers and it has really caused them to struggle. LeBron James is still out, but we are hopeful that he'll be returning any game now. He has been cleared to play and now it's just kind of a game by game just to determine whether the Lakers are going to need him or not. The first game he was actually cleared to play was last night's game against the Phoenix Suns. He didn't end up dressing out, he didn't end up playing, and the Lakers didn't need him. They won, it was great. The Lakers ended up winning 102 to 116 against the Phoenix Suns at home. Lance Stevenson was really, really helpful in that win. He was actually named the Mercedes Peak Performer. He ended up getting multiple three-point shots, which helped lead them to a win. And of course, every time he made one of those shots, he went into his dance and his guitar playing, along with all of the players on the bench and all of the fans. It was amazing. Another player who was really helpful in the game was Avika Zubak. He was phenomenal. He made so many baskets, so many blocks, so many rebounds. He's really had an opportunity to come out and show what type of a player he can be. Unfortunately, since the last time we talked, we had a terrible game against the Timberwolves. We ended up losing, but part of the problem was the Timberwolves ended up making 34 points off of our turnovers and an additional 34 points on second chance points. The Lakers really struggled during that game. It was very evident that they were having a hard time with their confidence, hard time with their passing, and a hard time making baskets, and unfortunately that resulted in a loss. The Lakers are still trying so hard to hang in there though for playoff rankings. Currently we are out of the playoff rankings, but not for long. Today is Monday, January 28th, and if the Clippers lose their game tonight, we then play them again on Friday of this week. If we're able to pull out a win, I'm hopeful that by then LeBron will be back. We will be in eighth place, knocking the Clippers out of eighth place. We still have a chance at this, Lakers. Let's pull it together. We can do this. I still have hope. I am not feeling defeated at this point. Even if they do make it into playoffs, they are going to be toward the bottom, unfortunately. So we really need them to start winning so that they can move up the ranks and not enter the playoffs in eighth place. I am slightly concerned because there has been some news out lately stating that LeBron James feels like they need a new coach and he really wants the Lakers to replace Luke Walton. My concern with that is I don't want there to be any division in this team. We all need to come together and do our best at least to make it through this season and try to make it into the playoffs. Hopefully LeBron knows what he's doing, is talking to the right people. It's not him coming out and specifically saying that in interviews, but it is his people that are making these statements to the news and to the reporters. There are two rookies that I'd like to talk about. The first one is Mo Wagner. His first name is actually Moritz, but they call him Mo. He is a rookie, he's 21 years old, and this is his first year playing professional basketball. He actually plays full-time for the South Bay Lakers, which is their practice league, as well as he is suited up and ready to play for any game they need him on the Lakers. He has been in a couple of times, made some baskets, made some good plays. Um, he hasn't been able to play but for a few minutes every once in a while. But I will say that with all of the open spaces available on this bench lately, he has really been available and at least had a little bit of play time. The other player I'd like to talk about is Svi Mikhailu. He as well is a rookie, 21 years old, first year playing professional basketball in the NBA, 
and he as well is playing full time in every game for the South Bay Lakers practice team and he is suited up and ready to play in every game for the Lakers. He has been on the court a little more often, not a lot, he's only had a few minutes of playing time as well, but when he's in the right position, he makes three point shots and they are lovely. We're also really excited for the NBA All-Star Weekend that is coming up quickly. They have so many fun and exciting events to watch and it's always fun to watch some of the new players come out and make some really exciting shots. NBA Weekend is beginning February 15th and it will be finishing February 17th. Make sure to check back because as we get closer, I'll be talking about some of the players that are gonna be in it and some of the fun things you have to look forward to. But put it down on your calendar so that you can be ready to watch some of the fun events. One of the things that has been mentioned is that LeBron James has brought Kyrie Irving back into his good graces and it appears that he may want to try to steal him and bring him onto the Lakers. And for Unfortunately, Luke Walton does not appear to feel the same, and it, I think that that might be part of the conflict between LeBron and Luke. I'm hoping that they can work out whatever their problems are. I'm hoping that there will be no division in this team. We all have to work together. As long as Luke Walton is the coach, everyone has to play under his guidance and work together so that they can be a united team. The next game for the Lakers is tonight. Tuesday, January 29th at 7.30 p.m. We'll be playing the 76ers and this game will be aired on TNT in case you wanna check it out. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed my updates. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you did and don't forget to subscribe.